Hello there, in this episode we are going to be talking about landscape grass output. So if we pay close attention, we have um, the, if you, we go into the landscape mode and paint, um, don't know, rubble here, we have grass here, right? So now we don't have a grass anymore, we have other things, we have some other static meshes, or if we just pay, uh, paint grass, it will have grass all over the surface so how we can do that um, you have to go ahead into the um, content browser I already created a lot of them because I wanted to show you how it's done um, so I'm creating them in my materials folder right click into the foliage you have um, a landscape grass type so LG underline test is going to be always the best. And so if you click on this one, the add button, you will have a grass mesh. So what's a mesh? Let's grab one. If we go into the starter content props, let's add this chair here. Um, grass density should be really really low because it's not an actual grass um, the start call distance uh, and end call distance is pretty important most of the times 10,000 is gonna be a little bit too wild so I'm gonna go ahead with the 5,000 to get um, not this one this one to gain some performance back so it's called LG underline test then go ahead into your landscape or somehow find your landscape material for me it's an instance and then I have a parent which leads me directly into the into my landscape material then where you created your landscape layer blend you have some layers attached to it right so I have mod grass rubble all the things I see um, here mod grass rubble and I had one uh, a rock that I have to get rid of then I already created it but I'll do it for you again so type in grass you have landscape grass output uh, and we have for example we have one layer called grass we'll call it test or we should call it test and what will be the input of the test we should have something here right so we will be using a landscape sample layer sample and this one should be called grass so it just tells this node that wherever you see grass add this landscape static mesh to it I'm gonna um, so you know what oh if you want to add more types just hit this one don't use I mean if I uh, hit apply it will just throw me an error because it can't have two landscape grass uh, nodes at the same time so if you want to add uh, an element another layer to it just hit plus and then add something else so it just H <laughs> and yeah that's it so I'm going to instead of grass on this one I'm going to choose LG on a line test and as you can see instead of grass I'll have chair <laughs> on my landscape wherever I have the uh, grass material applied I'll have static meshes to it as well so this is a great way actually to and if you pay close attention, it just calls everything out when they are out of bounds. It's a great way to procedurally generate your environment really, really easily. Um, and let me fix it for myself, actually. Don't want it to look like this. Grass, save, and there you go. If I want more grass, I can just go ahead in the LG on the line grass that I had already created. My grass density is at 150, maybe 350 would be nice. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll have a lot of grass, a lot of um, 
and we can even go even further like a thousand would be nice if you're working on a mobile project please don't do this it will just break the whole project for performance will be horrible if, and if you pay close attention my start call distance and call distance are set at 2000 not a great number it's just a really really low number because I don't want to um, put overload on my uh, CPU and GPU and I guess 150 was okay because I'm working on a mobile project um, and that's it I hope it helps you and if it did please hit that like button and have a great day bye